Hello, I'm David Roger, General Counsel for Las Vegas Police Protective Association. I'd like to talk to you about uh, obeying subpoenas to go to court and testify in, in your cases or in someone else's uh, criminal case and uh, the ramifications of ignoring a subpoena. So a subpoena, as you know, is a court order. Um, it requires you to go to court at the time and place that is set forth in the subpoena. Just recently, uh, the department, in response to a district attorney's complaint, has decided to take a hard line against officers who do not uh, obey a, a subpoena. And uh, we have been able to talk the department down from uh, filing statements of complaint against officers so that we can, you know, let officers know that uh, they have to take these uh, subpoenas uh, seriously. And, and we understand, and the department understands, and presumably the district attorney understands uh, that you're making a number of arrests e each week and that it becomes very onerous to go to court on all of your cases. Uh, first, uh, most cases are negotiated. Uh, this district attorney's office has kind of a different uh, culture, mindset on trying cases, uh, putting, taking cases to preliminary hearing. But nevertheless, there are some cases that actually go to a preliminary hearing or cases go, go to grand jury. And so when you receive a subpoena, you can't ignore it. Uh, we understand that uh, there are times where you have child care issues or training or, or, or other issues, uh, but the, the department has now set the bar and the department is now going to uh, start disciplining officers who don't uh, comply with the subpoena. And so the message that has been given to us is that uh, the prosecutors are willing to work with you to help you out with your schedule, to have uh, communication with you so that you don't unnecessarily have to go to court. Uh, so what does that mean for you? When you receive a subpoena, the assigned prosecutor's name is on the subpoena. Email them. The email address is always first name dot last name at clarkcountyda.com. Uh, communicate with the prosecutors and uh, we are told that, that uh, the assigned deputy district attorneys will work with you in uh, making it as convenient as possible for, for you to, you know, testify. Uh, there may be some occasions where you can testify through a, a video link, a Zoom or otherwise, uh, on your telephone. There are, will be times where you have to go into court. Uh, but if you develop that communication with the assigned prosecutor, uh, you may get a heads up. Um, ahead of time that uh, the case is going to be negotiated and you don't have to appear. And of course, there's that hotline the night before, but uh, I would encourage you to email the prosecutors ahead of time and have that communication so you don't have to wait until the night before to learn that you have to either testify or not. Uh, as always, please contact us at, or me at droger at lbppa.com and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Thank you.